Hello everybody, welcome to Transy Learning Chemistry videos. Today we'll be discussing about mole concept and stoichiometry. In this video we'll be discussing about mole concept, that is mole of atoms, and we will be solving the problems related to finding moles, that is converting mass given in grams into moles. So let's see what all questions will be covering in this video. The first question, how many moles are 5 grams of calcium? So in order to solve this question, the foremost step is to write it down what is given and what needs to be found. So the mass is given, that is 5 gram of calcium, and we need to find number of moles. Now in order to solve this question, there are two ways of doing that. First is a common factor method that we call as a unitary method and the second is using the formula. I would be explaining both the techniques or both the methods to you. It's up to you which one you want to follow. So first of all, I will be teaching you the conversion factor method. In this method, what is given is written on the left hand side and what we need to find that is written on the right hand side. And we will be multiplying this given value with some conversion factor to get the answer and we will be dividing this given value uh, with some value or the conversion factor or the unit which we want to get rid of or we want to cancel in the question. So the point worth noting is that what we need to find always gets multiplied and what is given always gets divided or to get cancelled. Now the question arises that what conversion factor I would be using to multiply this given value or what conversion factor or what value we would be using to divide this given value. So the answer is given by this golden line or what I call it as a magical line. As per this golden line, one mole is equals to gram atomic mass or gram molecular mass. When we are taking elements, uh, we will talk about gram atomic mass. That means when I want to find mole of atoms, here I would be taking gram atomic mass. But when I want to find mole of molecules, I would be using gram molecular mass, that is, when we are using the compound. That is equal to 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 particles. These particles can be atoms or it can be molecules or it can be ions. So in general, 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 particles are known as Avogadro's number and this is equals to volume at standard temperature and pressure. So we would be using these four parameters in different questions as per what is given in the question and what we need to find. In this question, we would be using only these two parameters, that is one mole is equal to gram atomic mass. So I'm writing it here that one mole is equal to gram atomic mass. In this case, the gram atomic mass of calcium is 40 gram. So what is given, I will write it down here, that is 5 gram of calcium is given in the question and I want to convert it into moles, I want to find moles, so I will multiply with 1 mole from this golden line and I want to uh, cancel out this gram value so I will divide it with 40 gram taken from this golden line so I will divide by 40 gram of calcium so the basic rule is that you multiply what you need to find and you divide uh, what is given or what you want to cancel out in this question I want to cancel out gram and gram so I have divided with the gram atomic mass of calcium which is 40 gram. So I will get the answer as 5 mole upon 40 which is equals to 1 upon 8 mole. So on converting it into decimal I will get the final answer as 0 0.125 mole. So 5 grams of calcium contains 0 0.125 mole. Now the second method using the formula. The formula is number of moles which is represented by n is equals to given mass and molar mass. So the given mass in the question which is represented by small m is equals to 5 grams and the molar mass is given as 40 gram per mole which means one mole of calcium weighs 40 gram. So I'm just substituting the value here that is given mass upon 40 gram per 
mole. So if I cancel out, I will get this as 1 and 8 and the final value of n I will get as 0 0.125 mole. So this is the final answer. So you can see here that both the methods are appropriate. It's up to you which one you want to use. Now the next question. How many moles of lithium are in 18.2 grams of lithium? So first of all, we're going to write what is given and what needs to be found. Here in this question, it is given 18.2 gram of lithium, that is the mass, and we need to find the number of moles. As I've discussed it, that there are two methods of solving this question. One is the conversion factor method, that is a unitary method, and the second is the formula. So I would be solving with both the methods. Conversion factor method, that is a unitary method. What is given, we need to write on the left hand side and what we need to find is written on the right hand side. And we will be multiplying the given value with some conversion factor to get the answer. And we will divide this given value with some common factor or the value which you want to cancel out in the question. And the values I would be using to multiply or to divide the given value is taken from this golden line. This is the golden line uh, according to which 1 mole is equal to gram atomic mass or gram molecular mass is equal to 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 particles which is in general is the Avogadro number is equal to volume at standard temperature and pressure. In this question I would be using only two parameters that is 1 mole is equal to gram atomic mass here because I'm talking about the moles of atoms and the gram atomic mass of lithium is given as 6.94 gram. So here on the left hand side I will write what is given that is 18.2 gram of the lithium and I want to convert this into moles so I will multiply with 1 mole of lithium and I will be dividing this by 6.94 gram of lithium because I want to get rid of this gram unit. So I would be dividing it and I will cancel out. So I will get the value as 18.2 mole upon 6.94. On solving this, I will get the required number of moles that is equal to 2.62 mole. Now I can solve the same question by using the formula. So in this case, the number of moles will be equal to given mass, which is given as 18.2 gram and the molar mass of the lithium is given as 6.94 gram per mole which represents that one mole of lithium weighs 6.94. So on solving this we will get the value as 2.62 mole. You can see here that we are getting the same answer uh, with the formula or with the conversion factor method. Whichever method you use, you will get the same answer. Now the next question, how many moles are there in 34.5 gram of sodium? So in this question, the mass of the sodium is given as 34.5 grams and we need to find the number of moles. First of all, the conversion factor method. What is given, we need to write on the left hand side and what we need to find is written on the right hand side. And using this above golden line or the magical line, I would be using the two parameters that is one mole is equals to gram atomic mass because we need to find the moles present in 34.5 gram of sodium which is an element. So we would be finding the mole of atoms. Here, the gram atomic mass of sodium is given as 20 three gram. So on the left hand side I will write what is the given value of the sodium that is 34.5 gram of sodium is given and I need to convert it into moles so I will multiply with the conversion factor from this golden line that is I will multiply with one mole and I would be dividing from this golden line what I need to cancel out. I need to cancel out this uh, gram unit so I will divide with 23 gram of sodium. So this gram will get cancelled by this gram and we are left with 34.5 mole upon 23. So on solving this I will get the required answer as 1.5 mole. So this is the number of moles present in 34.5 gram of sodium. 
Now I will solve the same question using the formula. Here, number of moles is equal to given mass which is given as 34.5 gram of sodium and the molar mass of sodium is given as 23 gram per mole. This means that one mole of sodium weighs 23 grams. So on solving this, I will get the same value as 1.5 mole. So this is the required answer. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more free videos, you can visit our website, transelearning.com. Have a great day.